Hello everyone, Elijah here. I welcome you all to another Epic 7 video. Today we'll be doing Guild Wars and we'll be showcasing Ida. Uh, she was who I picked for my selective summon that we got from the Foundation event. Um, this is her build. And she should be a little bit faster. Uh, she probably could have a little more damage, but this is the best that I could do. As you can see, some of these pieces aren't even reforged. I probably, I definitely want to replace this piece. Um, and then I also have a blue piece here that I had for, like, probably when I first started playing the game. So, her gear is kind of handy down a little bit, uh, for the most part. But, other than that, I think her damage should be fine, right? Uh, 3.5k attack, 270 crit damage. Damage should be okay, at least for, like, my skill level of what I am going against. So, yeah, we'll be showcasing her. Hopefully she works out well. Oh, also, side note, I put my maid Chloe on a speed ER set. Um, if you saw my last Guild Wars video, you would have known that we tried to do a counter set build. It did not work well. So I'm going to try this out as well and see if it works better. Uh, she's a lot tankier. She has a lot more ER. And she's on Water's Origins, which should give her a little bit more survivability, unlike the last uh, build that I had for her. And let the games begin. Alrighty. I was a little afraid I would get outsped there, but... <laughs> Luckily, whenever... I actually don't think I would have. No, I definitely wouldn't have gotten that spat seeing the, um... Seeing that my Sid is faster than the Celilius. Um... I'm gonna do this. I wanted to pick a team that had a Hui Young because I think it made the most sense that I bring Ida into Hui Young. Oh. And then she gets a little skill nullifier to help protect her against, uh... Any type of counterattacks, which is also really nice. Hopefully, maybe I just wipe everybody here. Oh. Almost, almost. But, that's why we have Sid here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this, because I... Actually, no! I don't think I should have done that. Because what if I miss crit here? Um... Oh, I think I just go ahead and do this. Okay, I didn't miss crit. I think I I don't know why I was thinking about that for so long. I don't think it would have mattered, but I got a little scared. But speaking of being scared, um, this next team is a little questionable. <laughs> um, I tried to. I was like, how can I figure out how to? How can I do this? I have to stun the Rimuru. But I also have to like deal with the Celine. Um, I brought units that couldn't crit, or shouldn't crit, I should say, uh, to deal with that Selene so that she doesn't go crazy. I feel like it doesn't matter if I... Um, like, if I kill somebody, it doesn't matter, because she's just gonna... I think I should get FCC as low as possible. I think that should be what I do. I actually don't know if this is going to work. Wait, actually it could. If I can get a maid to stun. Alright, maid. Hit me with that. What is the chance? 35% chance to stun. Okay, I got a little too... Wait, I should have hit Rimuru for the CR push. Oh, I'm crazy. That's what I should have done. Okay, now that she's did that, now we kind of just focus Rimuru, right? So that he doesn't one-shot anybody. Ooh, this is perfect. This is... Ooh. I changed my Solitaria to a... Um... What is it? I changed her to a... What is the build? To Abyssal Crown. Or the Artifact, I should say. I changed her to Abyssal Crown because that's better for her. And it's already working out or already proving to be a lot better. Even though my Solitaria has only 15% crit, I still don't trust her to not crit the Selene. So we're going to do that. Okay, so we kill Rimuru. Uh, how much... Okay, two turns. Alright, Maid shouldn't crit here. Can we get a stun? Okay, we can get a stun. Um... Okay, oh, this is what I needed to do. I want to kill the Selene next, so that I can not have to deal with her. 
I'm gonna stun her, and then this should just kill the Selene. I was definitely gonna kill the Selene. Alright. And we got it! Alright, that was a little scary. I was a little concerned about this team. We got to put Maid on here, even though she really didn't do anything. But hey, look at that. That CR push? Boom. <laughs> Alright, on to the next. Alrighty, I might be a little concerned here. It might be a little risk. Okay, I was concerned that my C Lilius was not going to outspeed, but I know for a fact that my Pyrrha should outspeed any C Lilius or any standard normal C Lilius. So that's what I wanted to do here. And I feel like this is also another chance for me to showcase my Pavel because I changed his artifact to Dust Noxus, uh, the Pavel artifact. Because I think that should be better. Ooh, and this is like really nice of a cleave type setup, right? It feels good. I love Ida. I needed this like bridge in like my um in a lot of my attacks. I just oh wait. Okay, <laughs> A Ravi resisted that. That was a little scary. But her S3 also CR pushes the team, so there's no way that that A Ravi should cut in front. That's perfect. 22k damage. Nice. And we're on to this team. I just decided to throw on mate with a bunch of tanky units. Uh, was not expecting Rimuru to be faster than everyone. Okay, so I should be able to kill Rimuru. I think. I should. I also rebuild my Infernal Kawazu just for Guild War purposes. Um... I used to love this unit, and then I kind of like stopped using him, so... Hopefully... And then the silence... Okay, yeah, he's dead. He is for sure dead. Okay. And then we have Maid here to, you know, cleanse all the debuffs. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Even though she got debuffed, that's supposed to be a high effectiveness ran. Yeah, that has to be... Because she definitely... De Ooh. I have... I am I get so, like, off... Not necessarily off track, but just, like, all over the place. I have, um... Infernal Kawazu on Huayang's artifact that gives extra burns. Can we get a stun? Okay, no. We did not get the stun. Oh, but he is dead. <laughs> he is dead for sure. And on to our last. Ready, and for our last setup... We have this. Oh, I that Amelia was almost faster than me. Interesting. We have this setup, which I think will be really cute. Or I guess cool. Or I don't know why I said cute. But Strays is getting buff, if you guys didn't know that, if you guys would pay attention. Um, I think the buff is nice. I don't really think it was necessary. But I guess anything that makes Strays more usable into tankier counterattack teams would be nice, since they're going to make it so that his S3 cannot be countered. But yeah, just your usual cleaving up. I will say, maybe I could make Strays a lot more like a bruiser. Like, do like a bruiser build for him. Maybe that'll be more viable, because they're also making the 100% pin a lot easier to reach. Which could be a lot helpful. Other than that, Ida's doing well. I mean, she's doing her job, right? She's to be a bridge to help your other units kind of like catch up, which definitely helps me a lot in aggro drafting or just like doing cleave setups like this for um, Guild Wars. So I'm excited to use her in RTA, which I will have a video doing that soon. Now, I imagine this team is very heavy debuffs. So we have... Oh, she silences... I did not know he silenced. I'm going to be completely honest. Okay, Maid goes before. So it's fine. Do I just S3? I mean, I should kill, right? I actually did not know. <laughs> I don't know what this unit does. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like, I... <laughs> the, uh... The Broman, Yeah. Okay, oh my gosh. I got kind of scared. I was like, wait, is she going to die? But then I remembered she's not going to die because she has a mortality. And then we can cleanse that silence. 
And I just realized they're all gonna focus my uh, Blair Witch, Iceria. Now, this should strip then kill, right? Or will it kill then strip? It definitely stripped and kill, or it just killed. It just killed. Oh, equivalent exchange. Oh, I don't know what he does. Okay, land a diva. Perfect. And then we kill here. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Everything worked. Everything worked with this team. I. This was a kind of a messy team, but it worked. You challenge me. All right. Unless she dies here. Oh no, she doesn't. She is dead dead wow all the units i got i got to use for fun units and it didn't go horribly that's amazing it's very rare i make guild war videos like this <laughs> but yeah that concludes everything for this video i guess i'll show you guys some of my other units that i use just so you can see their stats um here's my edward i've probably shown him a million times if you've seen my rta videos um oh yeah i use para who is on a questionable build, but hey, she's fast. So that's, <laughs> she has that going on for her. What else? Oh yeah, Sid, who I got to be a little bit faster. I found this ring, or I didn't find it. I crafted this ring. So it was pretty nice. Slowly improving his speed, trying to get to that 270, 280 mark, which I think would be like the ideal uh, amount of speed for a Sid at my level to get him to. He actually doesn't have... I just realized he's not triple S. I didn't know that. Where did I, I just realized just now that my Sid is not triple S. Huh? Do I not have any more Sids? I guess they all went into my A Sid. I rarely pull four stars if that's, if this doesn't show that I just rarely pull four star units, I just rarely do, like I just never do. Pavel, which I changed him to a crit build and then I changed it back to pen build because I needed that crit gear to go on somebody else um but if I reforge this I think I should have a 5k attack but even either way this artifact helps out a lot which giving him his attack who else did I change anybody else's build um oh yeah I re-geared in front of Kawazu. Uh, this is a pretty, I guess, okay build, right? I put him on the silence just in case if he doesn't kill, at least there'll be silence. And then if this does go off, he gets a little extra burn, which is really nice, which kind of guarantees that he kills. Um, Strays, who kind of has whatever gear. Uh, I just threw on whatever on him. I just like to have Strays just to have him built for Guild Wars and stuff. And then here's my Blair Witch, who has gear just because... I like the unit. I think she's a pretty unit, even though I never really have a chance to use her, but I did get to use her and she did work. I might actually put her on a proper ER build where she has like 100, 120 ER, but I just don't, haven't farmed the gear for it. She kind of has just whatever. But yeah, that concludes this video for Guild Wars and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.